One the challenge of the future whenever I interview someone for a job I like to ask this question what important truth do very few people agree with you on This question sounds easy because it's straightforward actually it's very hard to answer it's intellectually difficult because the knowledge that everyone is taught in school is by definition agreed upon and it's psychologically difficult because any even trying to answer must say something she knows to be unpopular brilliant thinking is rare but courage is an even shorter supply than genius Most commonly I hear answers like the following our educational system is broken and urgently needs to be fixed America is exceptional there is no god those are bad answers the first and the second statements might be true but many people already agree with them the third statement simply takes one side in a familiar debate a good answer takes the following form most in the most minimal sense the future is simply the set of all moments yet to come But what makes the future distinctive and important isn't that it hasn't happened yet but rather that it will be a time when the world looks different from today. In this sense, if nothing about our society changes for the next 100 years then the future is over 100 years away. If things change radically in the next decade then the future is nearly at hand. No one can predict the future exactly but we know two things it's going to be different and it must 0 to 1 the future of progress when we in the most minimal sense In the most minimal sense the future is simply the set of all moments yet to come. But what makes the future distinctive and important isn't that it hasn't happened yet but rather that it will be a time when the world looks different from today. In this sense if nothing about our society changes for the next 100 years then the future is over 100 years away. If things change radically in the next decade then the future is nearly at hand. No one can predict the future exactly but we know two things it's going to be different and it must be rooted in today's world. Most answers 0 to 1 the future of progress when we think about the future we hope for a future of progress that progress can take one of two forms horizontal or extensive progress means copying things that work going from 1 to n horizontal progress is easy to imagine because we already know what it looks like vertical or intensive progress means doing new things going from 0 to 1 vertical progress is harder to imagine because it requires doing something nobody else has ever done If you take one typewriter and build 100 you have made horizontal progress. If you have a typewriter and built a word processor you have made vertical progress. At the macro level the single word for horizontal progress is globalization taking things that work somewhere and making them work everywhere. China is the paradigmatic example of globalization its 20 year plan is to become like the United States is today. The Chinese have been straightforwardly copying everything that has worked in the developed world 19th century railroads 20th century air conditioning and even The Chinese have been straightforwardly copying everything that has worked in the developed world 19th century railroads 20th century air conditioning 